Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna pretty much uh, start on the arm, right? So the arm has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve faces. Twelve faces. Uh, I chose 12 because it's a safe amount of uh, edges to go in and start uh, welding it to other uh, body parts, right? Well, versus 8 is uh, kind of low. 8 is good for like say uh, something that doesn't have a whole lot of details and just to stick in the freaking arm. Uh, whereas this, uh, there's way more stuff to consider yeah that's the reason why um, okay polygon modeling this is where I left off I color coded everything yeah create a cylinder wow. there's my cylinder I'm gonna go into the channel box I'll name it upper arm right. I should just name it arm right. All right, and then uh, height baseline minus one as usual. Then subdivision axis twelve. Again to review. This is gonna be uh, here. It's gonna be a major plane. That's also gonna be a major plane, and that also is gonna be the major planes. What the hell? Yeah. And then you see the major uh, cut lines, right? Okay. Then the caps. I'm gonna put to zero. No need, I don't need that crap. Then, uh, right click face mode. I'm gonna blast away that face. Blast away that face so I can press 3. Have a smooth cylinder. Press R, scale it down uniformly. Then I'm going to press E as in Edward and just rotate it. Hold J as in Jacob to snap rotate. 90 degrees. And next I'm going to spacebar, spacebar. Hold it up. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And this is the final example. I want to delete history on that. Shift Alt D as in David. All right. Next, grab my upper arm, my arm. Uh, press R, scale it from the center, like so. Grab my final version. Press three. All right. Ish. Where the hell is my arm? Alright, so I'm just gonna eyeball it somewhere around here. It's probably this is the probably the circumference. So I'm just gonna scale it down a bit. Something like something like that. I'm scaling it fairly accurate because I fiddled around so much that and you know, to get this final size. I don't want to waste my time and fiddle around some more. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it out that way. That's the height of it. Okay, so I'm looking here. Mm, I'm gonna grab this. Put it like that. Let's take a look here. 
I want to turn on transparency x-ray all right so that and then this is the original that's the modified original and modified original so I guess yeah Okay, so I'm just gonna freaking stick it in some more. Okay. Alright. And then compared to the sketches, so the sketches have it here. But for me, I placed it over here. I don't know why, but I knew there was a reason why can explain it and obviously it's smaller again there's a reason why when I made it exactly the size the arm was massive it was dispor disproportionately massive and just looked it just looked funky and I also placed it here because um, for me it just made sense but I'll leave that up to um, the artist Cause I'm tempted to pull it forward, but I won't. And next, the um, yeah, modified body, final version, right? It bulks up more here, cause this one, it's only up to here, but the final version, it's more. Again. I made it more because when I have to account for attaching the arm and the deltoid and the uh, scapula here just implied right it, it needs it and this looks even kind of funky too right now this should be bulging out a little bit more but I'm not gonna mess with it yeah I'm gonna leave it alone for now hey, yeah leave it alone leave it alone leave it alone all right, how the hell did I do this? All right, so if I'm just going back to this, uh, so I know that I had to prep it, right? And uh, these parts would end up stitching if I look at my final version, right, I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna take away the coloring. I know that during my process, right, this stuff here. This is accounted for, I know that. Right. That is this. And then from there, I have at least one, two, two tracks to account for. Right, 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 right. It's gonna come into here. And then there's also these. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So from here I wanna grab this. First thing I'm gonna do right, is uh, multi-cut tool. 
I'm gonna start placing one here. I'm gonna place one here. I'm gonna place one here. Just so I can have something to start off with. It's been nearly over 10 days since I touched this mesh. So I totally forgot what the hell I did. to make sure it it gets sealed shit stupid ass stupid freaking tool press W press G to activate the command again then press one here and put one here and then we'll put one here and then put one here Put one here, and put one here, press W, press G, put one here, put one here, put one here, press and then put one here, press W, always end on the edge, press G, reactivate the tool and put one here, put one here. Put one here. I have these uh, contact shadows, which is screen space ambient occlusion, making a uh, fake shadows for me. Put one there. Put one here. Put one here. Ending at an edge. Press W. The multi cut tool. Um, I have the snap step set to 1. Higher numbers will start to cling on and snap because the default is at 10% and it gets annoying just in case. Click and snap. Click here. Click here. Click here. And click and snap. So I did that. So, I mean, this does not look good. Right, this looks actually horrible, um, but I'm gonna just uh, not necessarily wing it, but um, I don't want to get just frozen, stuck. And then I'm gonna delete it. Alright, next. I'll grab the pipe and then shift right click multi cut. I wanna do an incremental save or a control shift save it. This is video number twenty-five. Same thing, I'm just gonna click and put it right here. Click and put it right here. This is the arm. And then I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna ignore this. Then I'm gonna put it right here. Press W. Finalize it. So you can see it. Press G as in George. Click. Come on, don't, don't, don't do this, please. I'm gonna turn off the symmetry. Yeah. Click right here. Click and snap. Press G as in George. Right, shift right click, multi cut. Click and snap, click and snap. 
for the pipe of the arm I'm not gonna nitpick around the segmentations I'm just gonna do that do that make it outside and do that and then press W press G as in George click and snap my run here click and drag and end it there click and snap press W alright good then control 1 while selecting the arm whoa how did this happen Control one. All right. Okay, I think from there. So I'm gonna just basically start to stitch it. So, and I'm gonna do incremental save. I'm gonna delete my history for the arm. Shift Alt D as in David. And. Also for the body, shift alt D as in David. Now I'll grab the body and the arm. Shift right click, combine. It's gonna make some leftover garbage. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna name it. Um, And then I'm gonna have to delete the history. Shift Alt D as in David. It got rid of the leftover uh, nodes. Next. All right. So uh, this uh, here. Press four. I'm gonna grab that. Uh, I wanna shift right click. Merge vertices. Merge vertices to center. Well, did that. And I also want to get rid of this. Shift, control, shift, right click. Sh uh, shift extrude. Oh, I need to turn that off. Turn off shift duplicate. Because those things get in the way. Next. Right here. This one, right, is important. Um, I'm gonna weld it, merge the center. Okay, next. Then I'm gonna have to go and uh, multi cut, click and snap click and snap press W this here um, actually vertex mode grab that vertex shift right click merge vertices target weld zoom in carefully I'm gonna weld this to the arms vertex. Click and boom. So overall I want the shape integrity of the arm, the circumference to maintain intact. That's why I am merging the vertices of the rib cage to the cylinder instead of the cylinder to the rib cage vertices because if I merge the cylinders vertices to the rib cages vertices it will warp the perfect circumference that's the reason why next this here this is part of the rib cage I'm gonna target weld it to the um, cylinder same thing for uh, this guy 
Boom. Next, this here. And I can just do a grab both of them. Right, this. Shift right click, merge vertices. Merge vertices to center. Boom. Incremental save. Shift. Uh, Control Alt S. Yep. Next. I'm gonna shift right click, merge vertices, target weld. Weld this to the upper, the arms vertex. Oh shit. Oh, that was the wrong one. Uh, grab this. Weld it to the upper arm. Oh. What the fuck? Grab this to that. Grab this to that. Okay, good. Well, this to that. Good, good, good. Then I'm going to well this to that. Then I'm going to uh, well this to that. Then I'm going to well this to the arms vertex bump and there's going to be some skewing I'm going to go and fix that then I'm going to weld this to the uh, vertex right here that's part of the body then I'm going to grab the body vertex and weld it to the arms vertex instead of doing a burst to center. I'm gonna grab this, right, which is blah 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 blah, boom, to this, then merge this to the arm, boom. Then I'm gonna merge. the body vertex to the arm vertex I don't want to do target well because I'm lazy I'm gonna zoom in merge the body vertex floating vertex to the arm Boom. then I have something left over go inside of it I have this floating vertex I'm gonna merge this